What is diabetic neuropathy? Diabetic neuropathy includes various types of nerve damage. It affects 30% of all diabetic patients. Symptoms of diabetic neuropathy include motor changes, such as weakness, sensory symptoms such as numbness, tingling, or pain, or autonomic changes such as urinary symptoms. Diabetic neuropathy is thought to result from a microvascular injury involving small blood vessels that supply nerves vasa nervorum. A 62-year-old woman comes to the office due to tingling and numbness in her feet over the last several months. The patient has also noticed a small ulcer on her right foot that doesn't seem to be healing. Medical history is significant for long-term diabetes, hypertension, and gout. Physical examination shows decreased pain sensation over both feet and bilateral absence of ankle reflexes. This patient's neurological symptoms are most likely associated with which of the following features? The correct answer is A, endoneural arterial hyalinization. This patient with long-standing diabetes has numbness and tingling in her feet and reduced ankle reflexes bilaterally. This presentation suggests diabetic neuropathy, a common complication of diabetes mellitus that is associated with poor glycemic control and or long disease duration. It often manifests as a length-dependent peripheral polyneuropathy that primarily affects sensory axons. Patients typically develop a stocking and glove pattern of pain or paresthesia. Diminished pain sensation coupled with poor wound healing predisposes diabetic patients to develop non-healing wounds. Neuronal injury in diabetes mellitus is multifactorial, but largely occurs through the following mechanisms. Non-enzymatic glycosylation of tissue proteins, for example, nerve, vasa nervorum results in hyalinization of endoneural arterioles, leading to narrowing of the arterial lumens and ischemic nerve damage. Additionally, glycosylation end products are directly toxic to nerve tissue. Intracellular hyperglycemia occurs in peripheral nerves and results in increased metabolism of glucose into sorbitol by aldose reductase. Sorbitol accumulation increases cell osmolality, facilitates water influx into the cell, and promotes oxidative stress within the nerve. Summary of diabetic neuropathy, risk factors, long duration of disease, chronic hyperglycemia, and poor glycemic control, pathogenesis. Accumulation of glycosylation end products in sorbitol leads to altered metabolism and increased oxidative stress. An occlusion of vasa nervorum with nerve ischemia, length-dependent axonopathy. Clinical manifestations. Peripheral polyneuropathy numbness, stocking glove paresthesia, and decreased proprioception. Autonomic neuropathy gastroparesis, orthostasis, neurogenic bladder, and erectile dysfunction motor neuropathy distal limb weakness, and hammer claw toe deformities. Choice B. Endoneural inflammatory infiltration of the peripheral nerves is characteristic of Guillain-Barre syndrome, which typically causes a rapidly progressive ascending paralysis rather than a slowly progressive paresthesia. Segmental demyelination is another typical pathologic finding. Choice C. Myelin protein gene mutations are involved in the pathogenesis of Charcot-Marie tooth disease which presents with weakness of foot dorsiflexion due to involvement of the common peroneal nerve. Sensory symptoms are typically less prominent. Choice D. Entrapment of a nerve within an anatomic compartment leads to compression neuropathy. The most common example is carpal tunnel syndrome, which occurs due to compression of the median nerve at the wrist. Choice E. Abnormal signal transmission at the neuromuscular junction is characteristic of myasthenia gravis, which occurs due to antibodies against acetylcholine receptors, and Lambert-Eaton syndrome, which occurs due to antibodies against presynaptic calcium channels. Myasthenia gravis causes fatigable weakness that is most prominent in the proximal and facial muscles, while Lambert-Eaton syndrome results in weakness that improves with repetition. Educational objective. Diabetic peripheral neuropathy is characterized by numbness and paresthesia in a stocking and glove distribution. It results from non-enzymatic glycosylation of proteins leading to hyalinization of endoneural arteries and ischemic nerve damage. In addition, accumulation of toxic substances within neurons results in deranged metabolism and increased oxidative stress.